Hello and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington and I am on a timeline today. We are leaving for Europe, which seems a little weird because most people are finishing their vacations and returning to normal life, but the fact is, is that my husband did not have any vacation. This entire summer, he barely spent any weekends with us. He worked like a mad animal. Um, so this is the chance that we have to take some time off together as a family. So we are heading to Italy this evening for two weeks. We are going to do 10 days on the island of Sardinia and then six days in Rome. So super excited about it. Um, it's supposedly gorgeous there, and we've just rented a house, um, an Airbnb house in Sardinia. We're just going to like hang there for 10 days. The beaches are supposedly amazing. And then Rome, of course, is like awesome. Maybe a little bit of a gong show. Not quite sure, but super excited. But I wanted to share with you what I pack um, when I go overseas or on any vacation. So many people have asked me, are you going to eat the pasta? Are you going to eat the bread? Because normally I'm gluten free and I'm not sure yet. I'll see how it goes. I like to keep my diet as clean as possible because that makes me feel amazing. And that's my number one priority. Good because I've been in a place where I don't feel good. I've been in the place where I've been constipated and bloated and my stomach is upset. My skin is breaking out and I have a lot of headaches and just feeling awful and you know when I take care of my body I feel amazing so chances are I will probably stick to my regime as much as possible and probably the most important thing for me is to have a really good breakfast if I can set the day you know if I can start the day off right with a good breakfast chances are I'm going to feel amazing that day and because we're renting an Airbnb, we'll have a kitchen, so I'm gonna be able to buy some groceries and just kind of make that really good breakfast happen. But what I always do is I do bring a few supplies with me. And what I'm bringing for my breakfast, I'm bringing some bone broth protein powder. Yes, I'm gonna pack this in my suitcase and also a bag of hemp hearts. Both are amazing sources of protein. This is also a great source of omega-3, fatty acids, and protein. So no matter what I find at the grocery store, I can add these to it just so I get enough protein, balances my blood sugar, and gives me the energy that I need throughout the day. So I'm packing these. Mm, I know, it sounds crazy. <laughs> so that, those are two things, but then I'm also packing a thing of Tulsi tea, the holy basil tea, and I will drink this throughout the entire trip. I'll probably bring two boxes of this just because it's so good for my nervous system. And I find that when I'm traveling a lot, my nervous system can get really upset. So drinking something like holy basil tea really calms it down, grounds me, and you know, I tend to sleep better as well. So this is really important. And then I bring a bag of supplements. I put all my supplements in a little baggie and I will put this in my suitcase. And you know, it's pretty simple. I just am taking three supplements. I'm taking a liver supplement to help with my liver. And I'm also taking some chlorella just because it's very good for detoxification. It also gives me a shot of green while I'm away in case I'm not eating as many vegetables. And then I also have ubiquinol, otherwise known as CoQ10. And CoQ10 is an amazing antioxidant for the mitochondria, so it's great for aging. And it's also good for the heart. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I have to take special care of my heart, so this supplement is really good for my heart. So I will take these supplements every day with my breakfast. So I'm packing that as well. And then the other thing that I will pack is my Unda numbers. And if you know me, then you know that I am insane about my Unda numbers. These are complex homeopathic remedies. I'm taking six bottles with me. Um, I'm taking number one, number 20, 
and number 243. And these are amazing just to keep my liver and my lymph moving. This sounds complicated, it's really not. And then I do number nine, and number 30, and number 1001 because that really helps me with my sleep and my nervous system, keeps me calm, gets rid of my anxiety while traveling, and helps me sleep and adjust to the time zones. So those are the supplements that I'm taking for me and that I will take every day. My breakfast is my most important thing. And like I said, if I can manage that, then I feel like I have got the day covered. Um, the other thing that I will plant pack is this um, colloidal silver, silver hydrosol actually, and this is great if anybody in my family is feeling a little sick, they'll take some of this. If I get an emergency zit, I'll put it on my zit, it's amazing. Um, so it's just a great antibacterial to have. And then also I pack these, and this is not something that I take regularly, this is, this is magnesium. Um, glycinate little packets. This is for my husband and my kids. My kids tend to get constipated or if I get to, tend to get constipated or even muscle aches or anything like that. I just give them a little bit of magnesium before bed in these packets. So that is what I'm taking for my supplements to Europe. It seems a little nuts, but like I said, if I can feel good, then I'm going to have an amazing time. If I go off my program, if I go off my um, routine then often my body doesn't like that I have like the most sensitive body and I know many people out there that follow me that have acne have really sensitive bodies too and I just find that I have a way better time on vacation if I'm feeling good and I'll quickly share with you what I'm taking for skincare as well so for cleansing I have my Manuka honey I just put it in a little travel case here and I'll wash my more, my face with this every single morning when I'm there and then I follow I put my aloe vera gel in a little travel thing too so I mix my aloe vera gel with my oil serum and the serum is a combination of rose hip oil and argan oil and sea buckthorn oil so I'll mix these together along with my essential oil blend that I've put together. And this essential oil blend, oh my God, there's about six or seven in them, essential oils, and I just mix these all together. I make my own lotion. When I mix them in my hand, it's amazing. So I'll bring that, and I'll do that morning and night. And then I also have, for my body, after I'm out in the sun, I take some fractionated coconut oil, Mix it with the aloe vera gel, slather this all over my body. It's great because it reduces any inflammation that has been caused by the sun. And I'll also put some cypress and lemon essential oil. I've mixed this together. And this just helps reduce any potential hyperpigmentation that could happen. You know, you get sunspots and brown spots after being out in the sun. This helps eliminate it. So much going on, right? God, it's crazy. And then the other thing that I have, I have my sun oil. And I use this, I put this on for about 30 minutes every day when I'm first in the sun. It gives me a really nice brown glow. It's a mixture of coconut oil and sea buckthorn oil and some essential oils. And then if I'm gonna be in the sun longer than 30 minutes, then I have my actual zinc-based sunscreen. I love Derma E, so I buy this. And I put it on my whole, my whole family if we're going to be on the sun, in the sun, oh my God, for more than 30 minutes. Otherwise, I love us to get natural vitamin D, but I do have to admit that I always protect my face. I don't really expose my face to the sun too much because I don't want to get the hyperpigmentation that comes with sun exposure. Wow. So that is what I'm bringing. It's not really that much. Then, of course, I'll bring my toothpaste and some crazy toothpaste that I'm trying. I just want to share it with you. It's activated charcoal toothpaste to keep my teeth white. It works. Although the first time I used it, I thought my teeth were turning black, but it's not. that's not the case. So, you know, I wouldn't say I'm the lightest traveler ever, but I'm getting better. I used to bring many, many products with me. Now I just bring the little oils that I make and the aloe vera gel. 
which really is really awesome for my skin and for most people's skin out there unless you have some type of fungal infection on your skin. And then of course, shampoo, conditioner. I'll bring that as well. And probably some mineral makeup. I'll show you what I'm bringing for that. So my Jane Airedale pressed powder. This is great. I will put it on every single morning. It acts as a light sunscreen as well as an SPF 20. You can either reapply it throughout the day or put on more of a zinc-based cream if you're going to be out in the sun for a longer period of time. And then lip color. I'll bring lip color, something for my eyebrows, and you know, I'm probably not even going to wear eye makeup when I'm there, although I may, so maybe I'll just bring it just in case, right? You never know. All right, so that, that's what I'm packing. I haven't even gotten to my clothes yet. I have to think that through. That's a whole other thing. So blue tansy. Yes, Holly, I have blue tansy in my jewel, in my essential oil blend. I think, okay, let me see if I can remember everything in here. There's Immortel, there's blue tansy, there's frankincense, there is Palmarosa maybe, and geranium. Oh my gosh, I did a face. I did a um, Instagram live. I have it all written down. It's just not on the top of my head. On, um, it's not right on the top of my head right now. But it is amazing. I use it every single day, and it's so anti-aging. I will share this with you at another time. The essential oil blend that I love. All right, so that is what I'm bringing to Italy. And not sure if I'm going to eat pasta. I don't know yet. I'll see how I'm feeling, see how my body's feeling. My face powder is Jane Airedale. I've been using Jane Airedale forever, and I love it. I've tried so many other um, mineral powder brands, and Jane Airedale always comes out on top for me. I think partly because the shade Radiant is perfect for my skin. And when you find a shade that's perfect, you tend to really rejoice, right? So that is it. So hopefully this has helped you. I know everybody's probably settling into the school year now and getting back into work and into a routine, but I'm going to go off and I'm going to go play for two weeks. So I will you know, post some of my adventures on Instagram. So check that out and be sure to follow me on Facebook too. Check out my YouTube channel. If you're struggling with acne, my seven week clear skin program is out there to help you. I want to help you get clear skin. And my anti-aging program is finished. It's ready to launch. It's all done sitting there in my computer. And when I get back from Italy, I am going to share that with you. I'm really excited about it. It's awesome. I just have to get my Facebook ads approved and then it's a go. So that's it. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.